I made these fun trackers uh, that are Harry Potter inspired. So this is a savings and budget tracker. This, the top part is says Steen National Bank, which is actually where the Niffler went to go steal the money. Um, so here I put down goals for what it is that I want to save for. At the top I put this is for Bella, this is for Ben, and this is for me. Um, then over here is my Niffler savings. So basically every coin is 20 bucks. So when I have this whole pile done, it's going to be 100 bucks, I mean 200 bucks. And then this is going to be a total of 600 bucks. So 400, 200, 400, 600, 400, 400 bucks. Okay, so then um, you're not supposed to color them unless you've um, already... Uh, made that goal so like the $20 then you would color it another $20 saved you'd color that another $20 saved but I didn't like the way it looked in all black and I needed to color it so what I did was just started to do this make like a little orange highlight on them so every time that I save that much I'll highlight it so I'll be able to see I'll be able to track it and the same thing with the gold I'll just start highlighting areas every line is gonna be 20 bucks and so all together down here, my Niffler savings would come out to thousand dollars. And then I did this in pencil in case if I needed to change it because I don't actually know how much dance classes will cost. They don't price it on the website, so I'm gonna have to change that. I left it in pencil. And then over here is my Niffler savings. I printed him out. I was gonna draw him, but he was so cute printed, so I just did that. And then every time that I save money, I'm going to write down the amount it is that I'm putting away. And I'm going to add more coins as I have to. So the next one is projects. Um, I always have like a dozen projects in my head. So I thought I'll just try to keep it to like four projects, tiny projects, big projects. And then the little stars are um, steps or they're just basically like a brain dump for your projects so you could put out the steps it is that you need to take in order to achieve your project or in order to finish it or you can just have the project and little ideas that you have for that project and then you can create something else that'll go into more detail about what projects it is and if you're a super Harry Potter fan like me um, this incantation is the one that Professor McGonagall says when she wants to turn the um, statues alive in Deathly Hallows and this wand is actually Luna's second wand because she loses her first wand to I think it's a Death Eater and so they say that when she was trapped when she was imprisoned with Ollivander he fashioned her another wand and this is what it looks like so that is that project page and this is an identity tracker so obviously it's all the different houses Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin and then I put what each house um, represents and so every time that I do something like that I bubble in like a little a little circle so that I can see who I'm more like and who I may want to be more like or who I'm less like and that way I know for example, if, if I'm like a ton of Slytherin, I might want to work on that. <laughs> so if I'm not enough Gryffindor, I'm going to want to work on that. And I'm actually surprised to see so far that I'm not a lot Hufflepuff. I'm not surprised to see that I'm a lot Ravenclaw. So anyway, and these are not, they could be monthly trackers. So you could just do this, oh, for the month of January, I was like this. Or projects, like small projects for the month of January, I was doing these things. But they are ongoing trackers, so you can have them in your planner for as long as you want. And the, they're usually um, bullet journal trackers, but I'm not, um, I follow uh, my own beat, so I put it inside of my happy planner. So I can pull them out and change them out. I put it in the back of my happy planner. And that's basically it. So I hope that you like my Harry Potter inspired um, trackers and I'm going to start working on some more.